Hello, my lovely friends. My name is Ava, and today we have a book haul, okay? And we have an unboxing. I'm so excited. Okay, so I haven't done a book haul in quite a long time because guess what? I'm not buying books. Um, I'm, I bought maybe like maybe five of these books. I don't remember. Um, the majority of these were sent to me um, by publishers, PR, boxes I rep for, lovely friends. Um, so yeah, um, I my last book haul was I think at the end of, no, at the very beginning of January possibly, um, full of like all the Christmas books and stuff. I think these are all the books I've acquired since around Christmas time of last year. Um, so it's not that many, but they've accumulated quite a bit. I'm simply not purchasing books now because um, I'm paying medical bills <laughs> instead. <laughs> yeah, um, wish I could buy books, but my health comes first. Anyway, um, the thing that I am probably the most excited for is this. This is a, the Renegade Romance box. This is a subscription box for alien romances. And I am so excited. Um, I'm not in a position right now to be able to do a full-time subscription to them. This was uh, their, what's it called? Their like first box that's like a launch release. I can't remember the name of it, but it was their first release of this box. And I decided to support them because I'm really excited about this. And the author, it goes by author. Each box is sent run an, an author. So this one is Tiffany Roberts. I love Tiffany Roberts. The next box will be Naomi Lucas. I've never read a Naomi Lucas, but I know my friends love her. Um, so yeah, I think I might go by author. Like whenever Renegade Romance announces an author, then I'll do the box, you know? Um, just because I haven't read Naomi Lucas yet and I don't know if I'll like her book, so I don't want to spend the money on this if I uh, don't love the author already. So I love their Instagram. I'll link it down below, Renegade Romance's Instagram. I'm just so excited for this because as an alien romance lover, I'm always so excited to have more alien romances on my shelves. So we're going to unbox this and then we're going to get into the many books that I bought in the past couple months. So let's open her up, shall we? So here is the card on top. And then it gives like a cheat sheet from what's on the back. So yeah, this was like her launch box. And I'm so happy for her because like, I wish I could do this. Like this sounds like an amazing idea just looks amazing already um okay <gasps> okay we got crinkle stuff on here and then okay the first thing that i see is this this is i think the stickers yeah oh my god i see a print of one of the couples <laughs> i ordered the safer work pictures just because like i kind of wanted to display them in my room and the not safer work ones i would not be able to do that knowing my parents come in here quite often. So yeah, okay, I'm gonna show stickers. Let's see here. So this was the little card on there holding the stickers together. So we have this one, so cute. I like shiny stickers, this is amazing. Um, this one is a Renegade Romance sticker, love that. And oh my gosh, look how cute. I, this is uh, like the couple in one of the books by Tiffany Roberts. So I'm really excited. Oh my gosh, we have Katon and Ivy. Another book by Tiffany Roberts that I love. Okay, so those are all the stickers. Oh my gosh, okay, okay, okay. We have two. Holy crap. <laughs> Holy crap, these pictures. Like they're safe for work technically, like everyone, you can't see anything, but they're barely safe for work. Holy crap. I don't know if I want to show these. <laughs> uh, one is Katon and Ivy, this really long one that's really pretty. And then this one is, I can't remember for the life of me the name of the couple, um, but I've read the books. It's claimed by the Alien Warrior. Um, I'll just show like, there we go. <laughs> and then um, I got to cover up some stuff, but there's Gaetan and Ivy. <laughs> I really like these. I'm kind of interested to see what the not safer work ones are. Oh, and then we have a pen. Cute. Let's see what it is. Just, it's another Renegade Romance. Oh, that's so cute. And it's a back pen and I have like a big bulletin board that I'm gonna put this on probably. So excited. And we also have, ooh, is it another pin? It's another pin. Oh my God, I'm so excited because Katon and Ivy are on this. I see them. 
<gasps> Come on. <laughs> Look at that. Oh my God, it says hearts thread. If you read the book, you know. Holy crap. That's so cute. Like it's Ivy and Keton. <gasps> I need to read the other books in this series. I've only read book one. Okay, so the last items in here are the two books. Um, I believe both of them have, or one of them has an exclusive cover. And I don't own any Tiffany Roberts in physical form. So this is like amazing for me. First, we have Claimed by an Alien Warrior. I love their new cover. The old cover wasn't really my vibe. Um, and this one is just so stinking cute. If you want a good alien romance with plus size wrap, this one's so good. He has like four arms and like he's being experimented on by the US government and then he escapes. And while he's running away, I think like the heroine in here, I forget her name, Zoe? I think it's Zoe. Um, she's like, he ends up being in her car, kind of like kidnaps her and forces her to drive him to save you to a spaceship and then they fall in love along the way even though she's kind of like his captive a little bit um but he's just trying to ex escape the u.s government you know um and so i really like this one and then here is the exclusive cover of ensnared cool so cool i kind of want to get one of the original too because i love that one too it says on the top it says their webs are entangled no one will ever sever those threads so cute. This is about Katon and Ivy. Ivy's a human woman who's kind of like in cryo sleep and her uh, spaceship crashes on Katon's planet, which is like a spidery humanoid planet. And he ends up accidentally waking her from cryo sleep and then thinking she's a pet, takes her back to his nest and realizes that she's a female person who is not a pet. And then they fall in love. So cute. I'm obsessed with these. I can't wait to put them with all my other alien romances. I'm so excited. Also, um, Renegade Romance isn't just alien romance. It's like monsters and aliens. So um, yeah, I'm so excited and I I'm so happy that this box exists, honestly. <laughs> okay, next we're going to be getting into the books. I don't have them sorted by any category. Some of them were gifted to me by friends. Some were sent by authors. Some were won in giveaways. So I'm just gonna go one by one. First, my lovely friend Rachel over at Rachel Reads and Sings sent me The Viking Chief's Marriage Alliance by Lucy Morris, one of my favorite reads that I've read recently. And the only author that I trust to write a Viking romance is Lucy Morris. She's written two books and I think the third one is going to be out very soon. I have to read the arc for that. <laughs> but I've read both of her books that are currently out. They're both Viking romances and they're both amazing. I really recommend it. So thank you so much, Rachel, for sending this one my way. This one is a... um like marriage of convenience and an enemies to lovers hate to love. So good. I went on a trip to Barnes and Noble. I haven't been to Barnes and Noble in literally two years because um, of COVID and everything just wasn't comfortable. Um, and so I bought two books that I really wanted. And so this is A Touch of Stone and Snow by Mila Vane. I love this book and I needed it for my collection because I have the first book in the series, but I never owned book two. And so I can't wait for book three to come out so I can own all three of them. This is a fantasy romance and a friends to lovers romance as well. So good, I gave this book five stars. And then I also picked up A Reckless Match by Kate Bateman. Um, this is a historical romance that I've heard nothing but amazing things about. This is a rivaling families romance and I'm so excited. I really binged a lot of Kate Bateman in May. So maybe I can read her entire backlist very soon. I can't wait to pick this one up. The audiobook will be in my holds on Libby very soon too. Next is um, this book. This is the exclusive cover for A Nordic King by Karina Halley. This was Hello Lovely Box Trope of the Month book for May or was it April? I can't remember. I think it was April. I have my months all confused. I am have brain horrible brain fog, if you didn't know. This was their age gap one. They have a trope of age gap and A Nordic King is one of the best age gaps ever written. It's a royalty romance and it's a nanny romance. Our heroine, she becomes the nanny to the king of Norway, I want to say. Um, like the nanny to the king of Norway's two daughters and they end up falling in love. It's so beautiful. I kind of want to do a reread because this was just amazing and this cover i love it i love this cover it also came with a bookmark that says what a rare and beautiful thing you are a quote from the book and then it is signed i'm 
obsessed. If you want anything from Hello Lovely Box, by the way, I have the link to their website down below as well as their Instagram. And then you can use my code AVA15 to get a 15% off discount off your order. And you can make like boxes and clothes and everything. I have a few other books that I'm about to talk about later on in the video that are also from Hello Lovely Box. So I adore them. Their clothes are amazing. Their books are amazing. I love the books that they pick for their special edition covers. Cause like, I feel like they always pick good, well-rounded, well-loved books. So I'm excited about having this in my collection. Next is a book that was sent to me very kindly by Valentine PR. They sent me Royally Remembered by Emma Chase. I guess they know that I am a huge lover of the Royally series by Emma Chase, and this was her newest addition to the series. I believe this is a bind up of novellas all taking place after the series. So this is definitely not a standalone novella. You have to read it after you read all these books um so i love this cover and i haven't read this one yet because i've been waiting on the audiobook to come in through audible plus but it just got released on audible plus so i'm got so i'm about to read it very soon so thank you so much valentine pr for sending this one my way i really appreciate it then earlier this year this book came out <laughs> this is house of sky and breath i read it immediately when it released and yeah, this is the second book in the Crescent City series. If you don't know about this series, what are you doing with your life? Um, I really recommend reading the series after you have read A Court of Thorns and Roses and Throne of Glass. You got to read both series before you read this, before you read this series. Like you just, you have to, okay? You gotta <laughs> at least read Avatar, okay? At least read the whole entire series before this one. Um, but Throne of Glass is freaking amazing as well. I'm currently doing a reread and I am obsessed with it all over again. So I love this book and it is just beautiful. I, I love it. Look at the inside. Like, are you joking? Gorgeous, amazing. I also want a giveaway on Amber Kelly's Instagram. Oh my goodness. So Amber Kelly wrote Rustic Hearts, which is a favorite of mine. And um, this is one of her books in the series. It's a book in the Popular Falls series. And so she sent me a book in the series. Um, I think it's the newest one. This one's called Crazy Hearts and it came signed. It says Avery, every girl needs her own Charlotte XOXO Amber Kelly. I don't have a lot of books personalized, so I'm so excited about this. Um, I don't know what book number this is in the series, but I need to collect the other ones whenever I get around to it. This is a small town romance series, by the way. Book one was really good. Enemies to Lovers really reminded me of The Simple Wild by K.A. Tucker. So if you are wanting small town vibes, check out Amber Kelly in this series. Valentine PR also sent me Running Wild by K.A. Tucker. This is the next book in the Simple Wild series. Speaking of Simple Wild. Um, <laughs> So yeah, this one is the third book in the series and it centers around a different couple besides Kala and Jonah. I think it's Kala's best friend. Um, her name is Marie and she's a veterinarian and she falls for a guy named Tyler who is a competitive musher. <gasps> I was obsessed with um, mushing as a kid because I watched a bunch of animated movies that had a bunch of mushing and I can't remember off the top of my head, but there's one about mushing snow dogs in the snow and I can't remember it, but I was obsessed with mushing as a kid. So I'm really excited for this and uh, hopefully I can find the audiobook for it somewhere. Another set of books from Hello Lovely Box is the first four, not four, three books in a novella, a part of the Jacro series by Sarah Nye. I received Hello Lovely Box's Sarah Nye box, where there's a bunch of things in the box celebrating Sarah Nye essentially. And included in it were four books with exclusive covers in it. And so first one is Jock Row. I love this book. I've read it, gave it four stars, really enjoyable. And the cover is just freaking gorgeous. Look how cute. And then this is book two, Jock Rule. I think this one's the rugby player. This one is baseball player. This one I believe is a rugby player. And then this one is a basketball. No, it's football, a football player. So cute. Look at all these covers. I'm obsessed. Um, and then this is a little novella called Switch Bitter. I don't know who this novella is about, but I'm really excited to have all of these. I really loved Jock Row, so I'm so happy that I have it in my collection and I can't wait to read all the other ones. Okay, another Hello Lovely box grouping. I got their Gianna Darling bouquet box. Um, you can watch me unbox that down below in a double unboxing that I did. I think I unboxed the Sarah and I books and the Gianna Darling books in that unboxing. So yeah, uh, so two books that I got in there were uh, this exclusive edition of Welcome to the Dark Side by Gianna Darling. This is her second book in the, um, 
what's the series called? I can't for the life of me remember the name of this series, but this is book two in a motorcycle club series by Jenna Darling. I've only read this book in a series. I'm obsessed with it. I love it. I'm so glad I have this copy because like, look how stunning this is. We have Lou on the front on a freaking motorcycle. I love the text. Everything about this is amazing. It also came with this, <laughs> which is a print of Zeus and Lou. And then it also came signed, which I'm so grateful for. <laughs> I also forgot to mention all the Sarah and I books came signed too. Um, let me show them off really fast. Well, they all look like this essentially. So I don't have to show it in each book that Sarah and I signed. These three books as well. Um, I love Hello Lovely Box, especially because Oh, it's in the novella too. Um, they have their authors sign their books. It's so cool. Savage Lover by Sophie Lark was also in that Jenna Darling box. And yeah, I'm really excited to have this in my collection. It's the first book that I own by Sophie Lark physically. I've read all of the books in the Brutal Birthright series. This is book number three in the series. Um, and this one also comes signed as well. Look at it. So cool, so cool. I think I'm gonna get all the Hello Lovely books out of the way really fast because we're already talking about them. So the last book I wanna mention that I got from Hello Lovely Box was their trope of the month for, was it March? Their first trope of the month that they did. I'm horrible with months and time. I have no concept of time, so I'm so sorry. Um, but this was Tutoring the Player by Rebecca Ranchak. Um, This is a tutoring sports romance. I'm so excited. Look how beautiful this is. I love the pink so much. And just like the illustration, the text, everything about this, I adore. It came with this bookmark that says, what would it take for a campus wallflower to climb the fence and be seen? Super cute. And then it is also signed by Rebecca Ranchuk. I've heard good things about this book, so I hope to pick it up very soon. And again, you can use the code AVA15 to get a discount on your order on the Hello Lovely Box website. My lovely friend, Samantha, Oprah Books with Samantha. I love her. I'm linking all my friends down below that I mentioned, by the way, who are very kind and sent me a book. Um, she sent me this. This is the graphic novel of Phantom of the Opera, we both adore Phantom of the Opera. I love it. Um, I really want to see it on Broadway. Like that's on my bucket list in life is to see Phantom of the Opera on Broadway. Um, I grew up watching the movie and I loved it. So this is so pretty. Like the art style is so stunning. I of course prefer the movie to this, but I am so grateful that Samantha sent this to me and very humbled. I Love her so much and I can't believe she sent this my way because it's just so beautiful. Another book that was very kindly sent by a friend is Seduction of the Highland Lass by Maya Banks. This was sent to me by Aramis. I love her so much. Her channel is linked down below for you to check out. This is the second book in the McCabe trilogy, a Maya Banks trilogy that I love, one of her Highland books. So thank you so much, Aramis, for gifting this to me. I'm so grateful. It's uh, in like all the shots of all my videos from now on because it sits right here with all my other Maya Banks books. So I'm so happy to have this. Then Maggie Cole was super nice and sent me a copy of Toxic. Um, this is her new book. Uh, this is her a part of her new series, the first book in her new series, a spinoff of the Mafia Wars. And I've only read the first book in that series. And so by Jen's advice, I need to finish the entire Mafia War series before I get to this one, but I'm so thankful that Maggie called out of me and sent me her book. Um, it is signed by her. Like, I'm getting so many signed books and like, I, I never thought that this would ever happen to me. So thank you so much Maggie Cole for sending this book my way. I hope I can read it soon but I'm gonna finish the Mafia Wars series first. I won another book in a giveaway. We have How to Be a Wallflower by Eloisa James. I won an arc from her off of TikTok. I've never read an Eloisa James book. This is now the second one that I own though. Um, I think I own The Ugly Duchess. So I've heard good things about this book. I love this cover and I love wallflower romances. I think this is about a heroine who is not a wallflower, but she's trying to be one. She's trying to learn how to be a wallflower. So I think that's really cute. That's like a cute summary. So, and the last book in this haul is one of my new favorites from my shelves. We have Barbarian Alien by Ruby Dixon. The second book in the Ice Planet Barbarian series in the new cover. This one is just so stunning. I'm loving what they're doing with these covers. I of course love this series. You know me, I can't wait for them to do this for all the books in the series. I'm waiting for them to do Beck and Ellie, even though it's book number, I think 13, <laughs> that's way in the series. So who knows if they'll get to that point, but I just love this because these covers fit the characters better than the stock 
images they have on the front of the regular one. And so for like the other, like the first copy of this book, um, not the illustrated edition, like the camera on the front has brown hair and everything and does not look like Liz at all. This is Liz. This is Liz on here. So, and this is Rahash. Rahash did not look like Rahash in the cover of the other book. So um, I love how these books are fully characterizing these characters. I love it. So there you have it. That was a very large <laughs> book haul. Um, let me know down below um, if you own any of these books or if you want to own any of these books, which books should I read first out of the ones I haven't read yet? I'd love to know. And if you don't feel like commenting any of those things, you can leave me any purple emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank you all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.